So I did an internship here for, that must have been 20, 2012, years, years and years ago, um, in the software department, where Optiva was very flexible with uh, the program that I was doing. I was doing computer science and statistics, uh, so I was able to do, I was able to exercise that and learn more through that in a way that I didn't even know was possible at the start of the program. Uh, after that, I went away for a while, joined a startup, uh, and eventually saw the ad for the performance engineer role, and it was like reading a biography. Um, so I applied, uh, went through the, the interview process, and now, uh, two years later, I'm here. You get out what you put in. Uh, we are all in the same boat, rowing in the same direction. Uh, and if you are able to show uh, what you're able to do, then people are very, very receptive to that, no matter how new you may be. And that sets you up very well for the future. So give it 100%, don't be shy with what you know. You can do anything within your capability here. I enjoy the constant challenge. So Optiva, particularly in execution, is constantly, every day, facing these little little challenges. Every trade is a challenge for us to win, and that's, that's a base level. And everyone on top of that in the metagame is trying to uh, is trying to be better and better and better. So if we sit still, even if you're the best one day, you can come in tomorrow and suddenly things are not as good. So we need to be constantly pushing. So that means my role is constantly evolving to get better and better and better. Um, and that is something that I think is unique to, uh, to execution and to Optiva. Mostly I use Python, so that's a lot of uh, pandas, data manipulation type activities. Um, I am adjacent to a lot of the really cool FPGA stuff, so I get to uh, understand that work, not directly on the FPGAs, but we interface with them to make them do really cool execution things. Uh, I yeah read a lot of C++, so I'm not a C++ programmer, but there is uh, that need to be able to understand code, whatever it is. Like, sometimes it's necessary to go and dive into the like kernel networking stack to try to figure out, you know, what's, what's probably going on somewhere else? How do I get to the bottom of that? So there's a lot of code fluency as well. We use it in every way. So if you were a full stack developer at Optiva, you would be developing uh, FPGAs, you'd be arranging gates on, on a chip, and then you would be figuring out how those bytes get sent over a fiber optic cable to a microwave across oceans, and then uh, reassembled on the other side, turned into useful information displayed uh, in our dashboards reported to uh, all stakeholders at every level. So you are dealing with data on every, every imaginable level. Our engineering ethos is one of balance. We must be the best, but also recognize that the world keeps turning and we have to continue to engage with that at every step. There is no opportunity to be down for a week just because we want to get something right. So there's this push in both of these directions. So because you can do anything that you're capable of, you have to be able to push in that direction. So you have to have that drive to be what you can be. You have to have that competitive uh, nature to know that you can do better and back yourself to do better. It's not that it's competitive 
internally, we're all very much on the same team, but this is how you be your best self at Optiver.